This is scintillating. This is pure exhilaration. Ho ho ho. He said, don't fall. Don't forget all the things you've been taught, you've been told. Don't blink. Don't run. Don't turn left to turn right or look straight at the sun. My mind's gone in circles. I'm trying to fight it. Get in these voices inside to stay quiet. Go to the place where all this began. Hello there guys, welcome to Dino's Vault and finally I get to review the Rush of Supremacy, the all new Honda City 2020 BS6 model built completely new from the ground up. It's longer and wider and more spacious with a nice and airy cabin and of course the new design is something that's having me drool over with pure admiration and talking of supremacy with the new Honda City, I would say Honda have created a Jason Bone from the Bone Supremacy franchise because just like a calculated assassin, this new city kills the competition in almost every aspect we could think of. With more than 8 lakh trusted Honda City owners here in our nation already, the greatest challenge was to take its legacy to the next level and boy Honda have nailed it yet again. The cutting edge design inspired by the katana blades sharp and sleek outline is truly remarkable, radical and classy all at the same time. The full LED headlamps with 9 LED array inline shell integrated LED DRLs and LED turn signals light up beautifully. The chrome slat with Honda's solid wing face lends the car a more striking front fascia now. Also the LED fog lamp comes neatly integrated into the front bumper. Now these LED lights offer better light spread while consuming lesser battery. Moving on to the profile we have the katana blade character line running across the body that underscores the cutting edge design philosophy. Also we have 16 inch diamond cut alloy wheels that look awesome. At the back we get the Z shaped wrap around tail lamp cluster that looks absolutely gorgeous. We also get a shark fin antenna power folding outside rear view mirrors and chrome door handles to further underscore the premium feel. Moving in we have the Sokai invigorating cockpit design with the dual tone beige and black interiors and large air vents that help cool the cabin in an instant. I love the satin chrome surrounds that the air vents get. We also get the huge 8 inch touchscreen infotainment system with Android Auto, Apple CarPlay and WebLink compatibility. Now what's crazy though is that the new city is also Alexa compatible. So this along with the next gen Honda Connect app provide for an array of connected car features like remote AC operation, door lock and unlock, find my car feature, boot unlock feature, tire deflation alert, live car location, stolen vehicle tracking, auto crash notification, over speeding alert, roadside assistance and a whole lot more. Then we have the 7 inch full color TFT MID or multi information display which has all the info you hope for like average speed, average fuel economy, distance to empty and even a g-force meter which is outstanding. The front seats come well bolstered, in fact the seat cushion thickness has been increased 3 times more when compared to that of the 4th gen Honda City. Also premium quality leather seats have been offered with breathable fabric fabric to maximize comfort even in humid conditions. Space at the back is in abundance and we can say class leading. Now this comes courtesy of the scooped out front seat backs and the legroom at the back has actually been increased by 31 mm which is huge. We do get three headrests at the back but these are not adjustable. Also we do have dedicated rear AC vents at the back to offer better AC efficacy. In terms of music we get four speakers and four tweeters all around and the sound quality is decent enough. Other extras include a sunroof, one touch power windows all around, automatic climate control with these round dials that make operation super easy. We get two USB ports up front and a power socket. We get two more power sockets at the back as well. In terms of storage, we do get one liter bottle holders on all four doors. We get a spacious glove box. We get concealed storage underneath the front armrest and we also get some cup holders. The boot space is massive at 506 liters which is outstanding but it cannot be expanded further by folding flat the rear seat. 
In terms of safety, we get six airbags all around. We have ACE body structure that comes with superb impact absorbing capabilities. We also get vehicle stability control which prevents the car from toppling over under panic steering scenarios. We have hill start assist which prevents the car from rolling backwards when parked on inclines. We get agile handling assist which helps you maintain the line through a corner without losing control of the car and we also get tire pressure monitoring. We then have something called lane watch camera to the left which activates automatically each time you hit the left turn indicator. We also get rear parking sensors and a rear parking camera with multiple viewing angles. We then have something called walk away auto lock feature wherein the car automatically locks itself as soon as it detects the key to be 1.5 meters away from the car. Now talking about things that I miss, first is slightly fatter tires. Now we do get 16 inch wheels but I really wish we get at least 195 section tires. Next is wireless charging, I just hope they include that in the future upgrade. Also I really wish they offer rare disc brakes such that we get disc brakes all around. Also, I would love to have power adjustable seat for the driver. Now, in terms of engine options, we get one petrol and one diesel engine to choose from. We have the 1.5 litre IV Tech petrol with dual overhead camshafts for seamless acceleration along with VTC or variable timing cam. Now, this is different from VVT or variable valve timing because that only adjusts the cam timing and doesn't require the higher cam profile of the VTEC system. Now VTC is variable timing cam which can automatically adjust the cam sprocket hydraulically depending on the condition. So what does this mean to you and me? Well this improves the low end, the mid range and the high end drivability while also improving fuel economy and keeping the emissions to a bare minimum. So the petrol puts out 121 PS of max power and 145 Newton meters of max torque. We get a 6 speed manual and a CVT automatic with 7 speed paddle shifters. The diesel 1.5 litre ID Tech puts out 100 PS of max power and 200 Newton meters of max torque. Now I'll be driving the diesel variant soon. Today I'm driving the petrol CVT with paddle shifters. So in terms of pricing, the new 5th gen Honda City starts from Rs 10.9 lakhs X showroom and goes up to 14.64 lakhs for the top spec diesel variant. To know the exact on-road price here in Hyderabad, you can call the number appearing on the screen currently. So now that I've given you guys a quick overview of the car, let's go ahead and check out my drive reaction. Okay guys, now that I've given you guys a quick overview about the car, let's not waste any more time. Time to relish and experience the next generation of uh, complete supremacy in terms of driving pleasure that Honda are trying to offer to their loyal fanboys. This is the 1.5 litre IV Tech petrol, uh, comes with the automatic CVT gearbox and it also gets paddle shifters which they say is much better devoid of the rubber band effect that the CVTs are known for and uh, yeah 121 PS of max power and uh, 145 Newton meters of max torque and let's not waste any more time slot it directly into sport mode and step on the gas put the pedal to the metal baby Look at it go. I love the low and you know low slung seating posture that the uh, new Honda City this one has on offer. It gives you the feel of a super saloon kind of a GT race car. I absolutely love the seating posture and yes it comes with tilt and telescopic steering. It really hugs the road. The seats are brilliant. And yes, <laughs> you're cornering at 120 kilometers per hour and yet it sticks so flawlessly, holds the line and feels rock solid even as you step on the gas, baby. 140. Floor the pedal. Blasting through the straights at 160 kilometers per hour. And it feels completely in control. The A's body structure made out of ultra high strength steel, rock solid stability, superb rigidity and balance. Suspension is on the slightly on the softer side at lower speeds, but at higher speeds it gives you that confidence post 150 km per hour. Yes, post 160 it feels slightly wobbly because of the slightly softer settings to enhance comfort for city driving. 
but apart from that this one is phenomenal in every which way that you can think of uh, because IV techs are known to be an enthusiast or completely driver's delight and that's exactly what they've achieved with this new 1.5 liter IV tech and the CVT gearbox that uh, is on offer you do get uh, guidelines but uh, they don't move around but still it's more than sufficient you have rear parking sensors and uh, we can make this turn very quickly with just one stop so now let's get on sport manual let's see how far it revs really interested to see Oh, 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 oh. 6000 rpm is where it shifted 7000 is where it shifted again third gear yes it's shifting at 6500 rpm it's pretty cool and we're doing close to nearly 150 kilometers per hour it's absolutely blasting through the straights and uh, it holds the gear up to 6500 rpm and if you don't shift then it kind of shifts on its own so that's one thing you need to note let's perform this quick overtake here and uh, there's a lot of uh, juice uh, when you shift down the kind of thrust it has on offer see flow the pedal and it simply revs amazingly and I can watch the rev needle climb on the RPM rev counter all day long. <laughs> it puts a smile on your face. Wow, this is beautiful. This is scintillating. This is pure exhilaration. <laughs> and they have really, really upped the game here, Honda. They take the, taken this a notch higher, <laughs> way beyond uh, every one of us expected it to be. It was it, we expected it to be good, but not this good. This is absolutely fantastic performance in this price segment or in the C segment. It's almost like a car from a higher segment, like a D segment sedan. Uh, you see the exterior design, it is reminiscent of the Accord and uh, kind of, uh, you know, uh, reminds us of the Civic, new Civic, but uh, the driving dynamics are no less. It's absolutely phenomenal. And I love the manual mode now. I'm kind of falling in love with the manual mode. The rear camera feels of slightly lower resolution. I re really wish they offered a slightly higher resolution camera. And I love the steering feel. Feels so premium. Has the soft touch premium feel to this. And uh, the seats, uh, they give you that low slung a GT race car kind of a seating posture. Because you sit so low, you're closer to the road. It's it establishes a connect uh, between you and the machine and the road like you can literally push this to its limits even while cornering and in the sport mode I wish the uh, intensity it has on offer was slightly better it is you can feel it slightly toned down in the automatic mode but when you uh, you know switch to the paddle shifters that's when the true joy of uh, the uh, IV tech or the manual uh, mode comes alive uh, but apart from that, uh, it's all well done and the refinement is there. Uh, the car is super refined. You can see there's hardly any engine noise filtering through. There's a lot of wind over there. You can see the trees waving across. So there's a lot of wind out there, but uh, hardly anything that's filtering through. Even when you put the floor, I mean, when you floor the pedal, you can see only in the higher RPMs, the uh, the engine is slightly audible 
Apart from that, it's very refined. You can see when you're coasting along or cruising along, there's hardly any uh, engine noise or NVH levels that you that can be felt inside the cabin. So cabin is very well insulated, and the kind of aura, the feel that the car has on offer is a completely next level. I love the, the satin chrome kind of uh, finish for the air convents. They are large, they're huge, they cool down the cabin instantly. You have this huge eight inch uh, touchscreen infotainment system which is again very well uh, laid out it has this uh, nice vivid vibrant uh, colorful display with easily visible fonts even under broad daylight i love the wooden finish on the dash these air conditioner controls uh, the dials that they've been given are a very unique touch and again feel uh, very easy to use and uh, toggle between so that's another uh, nice uh, classy touch that they've done and a lot of uh, soft touch uh, material wherever you lay your hands on be it the door or the steering wheel or the dash that uh, immediately comes to your reach now let's step on the gas look at the g-force oh, 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 oh. and the brakes yay wow <laughs> the g-force uh, thing is just moving all over the place the airiness of the cabin like you can see a nice white glass area clearly visible uh, Man maximum machine minimum kind of a design concept for the interiors L Huge glass areas the all-round cabin visibility is absolutely great even without the cameras and the sensors You can easily park the car with ease and then of course you have this uh, lane watch function how brilliant is that to eliminate blind spots and uh, just in case some uh, uh, person wants to overtake you from the left really quickly you just keep can keep a track of that and keep yourself out of harm's way so we're in sports mode trying to take this corner hard doing 70 kilometers per hour while taking the corner it holds the line so flawlessly because of the lowered center of gravity and that's the best part about this car on 70 kilometers per hour yes yes brilliant whoa wow that was amazing around uh, 65 kilometers per hour taking that sharp corner and you have one more up ahead I believe and it's very uh, the CVT gearbox yes it's completely devoid of that rubber band effect you can see this corner being taken very well there's minimal very minimal hardly any body roll apparent yes the turning radius is also surprisingly uh, short for such a huge car it's longer and it's wider than the older city but yet it is very easily maneuverable at uh, lower speeds thanks to the steering sensitivity I love the steering sensitivity on this car and the new city because it's light and effortless at lower speeds and it weighs up adequately even at speeds of around 150 kilometers per hour whoa turns so well because of the slightly softer suspension you can feel a little bit of body roll but if it was very rigid again uh, comfort would have been compromised so they have tried to offer best of both worlds enough stability at higher speeds with slightly stiffer suspension but majority of the time we will be try driving it through the city <laughs> as the name suggests they have tried to iron out all those undulations that you might feel in day-to-day uh, -day city traffic If it was very rigid, it would have been a scorcher of a performer, but then the comfort would have been compromised. But because this is uh, the ideal choice uh, to be a family sedan uh, here in India, and the kind of bulletproof reliability Honda is known for, uh, they wanted to balance the comfort factor as well. So let me demonstrate the cruise control for you guys here we have a dedicated switch so just take this uh, speed up to 60 or 80 kilometers per hour and uh, press the cruise control button and then press the 
set button for the speed and there you go it's set at 71 kilometers per hour and we're cruising i've taken my foot off the accelerator pedal just coasting along and completely fatigue free driving experience and that's what uh, the new millennials are hoping for the young professionals are you know hoping for compromise is not a word that they find in the dictionary they want the best of the features best handling best performance the best package that money can buy them and that's exactly what honda are trying to deliver with the new city redefining performance redefining value for money redefining safety and uh, redefining uh, the kind of handling and uh, the kind of comfort uh, a car in this segment has ever offered before and it has uh, come out really really well an absolute winner from honda uh, with the honda city it puts a smile on your face when you step on the gas it gives you that effortless uh, fatigue free driving experience uh, while you're driving through the city and you have all the features that you can think of you have the connected car feature you have the android auto apple carplay support and everything pretty much everything packed into one amazing package and the design is absolutely wow and uh, <laughs> that uh, gets you drooling right from the moment you you know set your first glance on the car so i believe honda have gotten the formula absolutely bang on in every aspect that you can think of and this is a paisa vasool car and a class defining car that is going to reign or retain uh, its supremacy and uh, continue to reign as the segment leader in the c segment beyond a shadow of a doubt well that's pretty much it i just hope you found this review useful i'll catch you guys in the next video until then take care god bless and drive safe if you haven't subscribed already please do hit the subscribe button press the bell icon and check the all notifications button says that you are the first to get notified about all the updates right here at dino's world hey say don't fall don't forget all the things you've been told you've been told don't blink don't run don't turn left or turn right or look straight at the sun